So you recently purchased a new 14-way golf bag. Awesome. Congratulations. So did I. Right now, assuming that the slots in the pockets are completely empty, or you may be thinking about a good way to organize your clubs. If you are, you're in the right place. Because today, I'm going to be sharing with you how I organize my 14-way bag. I'm going to cover it in this video. Stick around. Chris here from Uniform Projects. In this video, I intend to share with you how I organize my vessel bag. If you are new to the 14-way bag or new to golf in general, this may provide you with the reference of how you would like to organize your 14-way bag. So let's start with the most important club, or at least to me, the driver. I slide the driver in the top to prevent it from clashing with the irons. The shaft is delicate and sometimes expensive. If you have the customized premium shaft, you don't want to take any chances on the iron scratching off the shaft. I really don't plan on spending more money than what I need to. Next to the driver, I have three wood to the left and three hybrid to the right. At the moment, these are all the woods that I currently carry. After that, I'm going to place my long irons 4 and 5 from left to right. Let me show you from a better angle. Then the mid and the short irons will follow in this order. After that, the wedges. Well here, I carry 4 wedges. I have the pitching wedge, gap, sand, and lob wedges. These will go right side of the 9 iron. Lastly, my putter, which fits right in here. For some bags, the slots for the putter may be in the bottom, but in this case, I will slide it in here to complete the 14 club arrangement. Now onto the accessories. I have split the accessories into two different categories. One is a must-have in order to play the course, and the other one is optional. The unfortunate and confusing thing about this is that when you search for information of what to carry on the course, you get many different answers. That is because it's all matter of personal preference and where you are at with the level of your golf skill. Most importantly, you need to have golf balls to play golf, right? Depending on the course I'm playing, I will carry one or two sleeves of golf balls. If you just started playing golf, I would recommend carrying a dozen or more used balls. Here are the tees, ball marker, glove, and a towel. I hope my towel on the ring here. Now on to the optional accessories. Just as a side note, I can play any course without needing any of these accessories. First, the rangefinder. Good thing about Vessel Bag is that it has a separate pocket for the rangefinder, which is very good. Extra glove in case my glove gets too sweaty during summertime or if it rips. Sharpie to mark the ball to indicate that it's mine. Now lastly, here's a tripod. Many of you may find it strange to have a tripod in a golf bag, but this comes in handy on practice range to check your swing time to time. Again, it's optional and personal preference. So yeah, that was quite a lot, right? I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're a longtime user of 14-way bags, I want to know how you organize your bag. Please feel free to jump into the comment section below and leave a comment. As for me, thanks for being here. I appreciate your time and I'll see you in the next video.